हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सुनिया एज दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन लेक्चर ऑन एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल थॉट सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप द एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल थियोरी ऑन फंक्शनलिज्म ओके सो द फंक्शनलिज्म थॉट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्कूल्स वन इज द कल्चरल फंक्शनलिज्म एंड अदर इज द स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनलिज्म एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनलिज्म थॉट बिकॉज द डिमांड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वॉज मच फॉर द स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनलिज्म थॉट and in the recent comments and the few students have asked about the functionalism as well so they requested to take up the functionalism thought as well so for that reason we are discussing functionalism before moving to the structuralism as a thought so after functionalism then we'll be taking up the structuralism okay so now in this class we'll focus upon the historical background premises okay and what is the meaning that has been viewed by the cultural functionalist especially malinowski okay so let's get into the topic and there has been a query regarding how to approach the anthropological thought okay if you see here that i have given you the dimensions that you have to follow or the things that you have to keep in mind while reading any theory so you, first thing is how did the theory come up okay so the introduction the historical background and then you need to know the meaning of that theory what is the theory trying to convey what is the core concept of that theory and before giving the theory the people might had certain assumptions and those assumptions are known as basic premises okay you should be aware about it as well because whenever you want to make any criticism with respect to any theory you need to know their assumptions right so when you know them very well you'll understand their concepts better at the same time you'll have enough room to criticize right so for critical analysis you need to know the basic premises then what are the methods or approaches or the met methodology they have adopted in giving the theory okay so we have seen with respect to evolutionists they have depended okay upon the secondary sources they have depended upon the secondary sources and that is the reason they were called armchair anthropologists because they were sitting in the chair by seeing some books they were formulating the theories but given the situation after the diffusionists okay so after the diffusionists historical particularism Uh, which began with the franz boas and thereafter functionalism and structural functionalism these people have denied that and they have moved towards the field work okay so that is with respect to approaches and methodology and then you have to know about the individual scholars and their concepts okay so we have already seen radcliffe brown with respect to structural functionalism and today we will be studying malinowski okay so why it is called psychological functionalism or near theory or biological culturalism so we'll be discussing that but just focus on these things okay so then you have criticism and at the end you have conclusion okay so these are the things with respect to any theory you have to keep in mind okay so all these dimensions are necessary for you to understand any theory in a better manner and it will also help you in have a schematic presentation of your answer for any question in ups okay so moving further on to the functionalism school we have already discussed yesterday in the ratcliffe brown's structural functionalism that there are two schools under functionalism okay these schools are influenced by the sociologist emile durkheim sociologist emile durkheim and under this there are two schools okay so one is malinowski's functionalist school and other is ratcliffe brown structural functionalist school okay so we have already seen ratcliffe brown structural functionalist approach what did we see there his focus is on studying about the society right i have also told you the focus of functionalist school or malinowski's functionalist the focus is on 
इंडिविजुअल सो हियर डिस्कशन इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन दीज टू पीपल दैट मलिनोस्की इज सेंग दैट द कल्चर दैट इज देयर इज एग्जिस्टिंग टू मीट द नीड्स ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल वेर एज रैटलिफ ब्राउन इज सेंग दैट नो कल्चर इज देयर to meet the needs of the society and help in maintaining the society right now this concept or this discussion or views with respect to culture and society you can write you in your answer of society and culture right whenever there is a question with respect to society and culture you can discuss that see what is malinowski saying that culture is all encompassing that means culture is everything and within the culture you have society right whereas ratliff brown is saying that okay so there is society okay and there is culture these two things are separate so society is group of people and their interaction okay and the institutions maintaining these groups okay controlling their behavior that forms the society and what helps in their enculturation process is culture okay so what helps them helps in enculturation process their culture so society and culture are two separate entities to ratliff brown whereas not to the malinowski okay so to malinowski culture is all encompassing and that society is the subset of culture so these thing you need to be aware and the theory how you are going to apply in your other parts of the syllabus okay so you need to interlink these things whenever you are writing an answer so how do you bring thinkers into your answers so whatever you learn as a part of your theories or the anthropological thought should learn it well understand well and as per the demand of the question and the context try to use these things okay so that's how you can enrich your answer so coming to the historical background of functionalism that to the cultural functionalism of malinowski so since uh, in the past class we have seen the structural functional school which is a sub school of functionalism so since it belongs to the same theory right it since it's a so cultural functionalism is sub school of functional school the historical background of functionalism remains the same right of cultural functionalism so whenever we use the term functionalism in anthropology it means that it is related to the malinowski's functionalism and whenever we are stressing upon structural functionalism then we are talking about brown's rightly brown structural functionalism okay so we have functional school cultural functional school right and we have structural functional school so the historical background of the both the things remain the same right what would be the background so it has come in reaction to the theories that were there present before to it what were the theories before it they have evolutionism and diffusionism okay so they were against the methods they were employing them and they have come up with this new theory and with the new method so this is the historical background of functionalist school right so next moving towards the common premises of functionalism or cultural functionalism okay what are the basic common premises and you know that these two schools okay in the past lecture we have seen that functionalist or functionalist school was influenced based on the sociologist emil durkheim okay so based on his influence okay so they have drawn a similarity and from there they have come up with the theory of functionalism okay so what happened in the last lecture what we have seen that emil durkheim has compared society to an organism right emil durkheim has compared society to an organism by taking that similarity ratliff brown has tried to give a structural functionalist view and even Uh, malinowski try to 
give functionalist view okay so he gave functionalist view cultural functionalist view and there ratliff brown has given structural functionalist view so now what were the premises of this uh, cultural functionalism what were the assumptions that he has made so the assumptions that he has made is that so organism has got parts right these parts are integrated right and parts function parts contribute itself to make some function right so this was the understanding that has been given by ml darkim and now this concept has been used by two people differently if you have seen the previous lecture on ratliff brown there what did he say these parts okay these parts are interrelated to one another they contribute every part contribute as a, uh, what is called as function so contribution made by every part is function and these functions okay coordinate with one another okay so these parts and the contribution that has been made by these parts coordinate with one another and maintain functional unity so in the similar manner okay in the society there are people okay the components are the parts of the society are the humans individuals okay these people are interrelated to one another they form groups and these are uh, these groups give rise to some behavior and the behavior is controlled by the institution okay so he talked about social structure and social system okay and that is how the culture the culture that is there in the society in terms of different institutions or okay in terms of different parts okay is helping to maintain okay whatever the culture that is there is helping to maintain the continuity of social structure and thereby society okay this was the view of ratliff brown okay so this is the view of ratliff brown under structural functionalism so why am i recalling it is that you need to understand the difference between the two theories that has been propounded so now in case of malinowski what was his view he says that okay organism is there organism has got parts these parts are interrelated and integrated okay every parts make a contribution but the view is different so for malinowski culture okay malinowski just like organism okay there is culture and within the culture there is parts and the basic part what is the basic tenet of culture is a trait okay so trait what do you mean by trait trait is anything which you break further doesn't give any meaning okay so this is a pen okay within this you can break it to some parts so every part has got a name but if you break further so you have to give it the same name because if you break it further there is no meaning to it okay there is no name to it and there is no function of that further part so there is certain basic parts of the or basic parts or basic tenets of culture which is known as trait several traits okay these traits combine to form custom okay these several traits combine to form custom and several customs combine to form institution okay so in the view of malinowski just like organism there is culture okay so here the comparison is comparison is being made to the society right the comparison is being made to the society he says that within the society you have parts and these parts co combine together and they give rise to so and so things uh, which we have already discussed so let's not go there so let's focus on malinowski okay so in malinowski what is saying is the comparison is made 
with respect to culture. So he says that within the culture you have parts and the basic tenet of culture is trait and what is trait I have explained you and several traits combine to form custom. Okay. So customs, several customs combine to form an institution. Okay. So now what he says is that whatever the part or whatever the trait that is there, okay, it survives because it is functioning. Okay. So whatever the trait or whatever the part that is there, it is surviving, it is present because it is functioning. Okay. So whatever the trait that is there, it is surviving because Okay, so there are parts, parts according to him are either traits of the culture or institutions okay. parts are there or surviving parts are present or they are surviving because they are functioning okay so the parts can be traits or institutions so he says that within the culture the basic tenet is traits and several traits combines to form customs and thereby institutions and thereby society okay so every part okay every part functions and why is it functioning because it has to survive so this was the view and now he says that these parts not only function separately, they not only function separately, they also function in interrelation with the other things. Okay. So they also function parts not only function but also in combination with others so here the parts can be traits or institutions and the third premise is that okay so first thing we have seen basic tenet of culture is parts okay so our traits okay basic tenet of culture is trait and these forms institutions and these are surviving because they are functioning and these parts not only function individually but also in cooperation and combination with the other parts and the third premise is that these are there in the culture okay to meet the needs of an individual why are these parts there okay so why are institutions present or why are any trait is present they are present to meet the needs of an individual okay okay parts or institutions are present to meet the needs of an individual So here the focus word is individual, okay, how it differs from the structural functionalism. So whatever the things he has been talking about, it is related to the satisfying the needs of an individual, okay. So the parts or the trades institutions that are there, they are combined with the other or individually themselves are contributing to meet the needs of an individual. So this is the view of Malinowski with respect to functionalism okay so now what you have to study in the culture so what was he uh, Ratliff Brown doing Ratliff Brown was trying to study the social structure and social institutions how they are helping to maintain the society right so we have discussed 
so various kinship behaviors and totem uh, or the religious rituals that are there in the various societies how they are helping to maintain the continuity of the society so that was the study that was conducted by ratley brown so what is he suggesting he is suggesting that you need to analyze the needs okay you need to analyze the institutions because these institutions are helping to meet the needs of an individual so first he has talked about the needs and then he has talked about how the institution functions or what are the parts of an institution okay right so that is part of the contributions of the malinowski that we would be discussing in the next class but for now you might be clear with the background okay so we will be seeing what are the methods and the what is the background of malinowski after this okay so coming to the methods i have already told you previously the evolutionists and diffusionists they were using the secondary sources historic comparative method historical or historical comparative method right so since the sources are not reliable according to these people because they might be influenced by various organizations because the data gathered was during the colonization process right so you can't rely on the data and all the data may not be available with the past okay regarding the past you may not have complete data so for that reason instead of studying the past okay or the sequence of the past so rather than focusing on the diachronic things right we have already studied what do you mean by diachronic and synchronic so rather than doing the diachronic study study what is currently present here and now okay so move towards synchronic study so in order to conduct synchronic study they have opted for field work okay malinowski is known for his field work through which he has come up with participant observation as a strategy and this has become an asset for anthropology and even various disciplines have bo have borrowed this method of research strategy okay to understand the real life situations okay so this is with respect to the methodology and approaches they have opted for now coming to the malinowski's background malinowski is basically from poland there he has done his studies from krakow university okay he has done his uh, done his basic education from the poland itself then he moved to england under fraser under fraser and seligman under their guidance he has gained degree in anthropology so first he was from poland he has done his basic education from there after that he has moved to england and within england under the guidance of fraser and seligman you know fraser james fraser who belongs to the evolutionist school there he talks about magic religion and science he was very much influenced by his book and he moves towards the anthropology and under their guidance he gets a degree in anthropology and what happens he has been sent to australia on a field work okay he was been he has been sent to australia on field work at the same time he had tuberculosis uh, so he was also looking for treatment that time uh, which was better in australia so he has moved to australia so what happened you know that during 1914 the world war 1 has begun and during the world war 1 poland has become an enemy state to british right so that was an embarrassing situation for 
Malinowski from where he was referred to go to Australia. British people themselves has referred him to go to Australia for field work and study, research study. Now he has become an enemy alien. Okay, so because of Seligman and others, he didn't face the same situation as others. He has been treated very well in Australia and he has been asked not to move out of the state. Okay, so out of the control of the state. So he was allowed to conduct some field work or move in that to the inland around islands okay which are not strategic to the britain okay so what has happened so nearby australia in, in the uh, near to the papua new guinea so there were islands known as tobri and islands okay so he went there so he was uh, he stayed for few days in australia among the australian tribes arunta tribes and then he moved to the tobri and islands so there he stayed for longer period of time Okay, so he uh, he was stuck over there. So he developed interest in their culture. He didn't know anything. Slowly, with the level of pidgin, right? So pidgin means you might be aware that when two people belonging to different cultures who don't know their languages, okay, try to use something. Just like child try to interact with the somebody who uh, before he develops or has his cognitive development completely. Uh, Okay, so before having the cognitive development completely, how the child interacts in a similar manner, Malinowski and these people were interacting with each other, like basic signs. Okay, so the signs that you would use, right? So to interact. So in a similar manner, using that pidgin, he was interacting with them slowly. He learned their language. He stayed there for a long period of time, and he observed all the things. He became the member of their culture and tried to understand all the things. So through this, he has come up with a strategy that is like methodology of field work. Okay, so methodology or method, you can say method of field work, which is very much helpful in order to understand the real uh, situations of the ethno. Regarding the ethnographies of the people. Okay, so if you have to develop a better ethnography, then you have to conduct a field work before, according to Malinowski. Okay, so the field work is being conducted previously as well, but the participant observation has to be done because you need to stay there for a long period of time. You need to become a member of them. Okay, so if you have unless and until you become a member of that group, you will be viewing things from your own perspective. Okay, so though there are certain disadvantages with respect to part, uh, participant observation but it has become an asset for anthropology okay and uh, if you say that without field work or without participant observation there is no anthropology in the current times okay so that was the view uh, developed by most of the anthropologists at the later point of time so that is the reason why malinowski is adored very much okay though his theories that which we would be discussing that uh, how institution is existing to satisfy the needs of an individual okay the, his view that culture is there or culture is present to satisfy the needs of an individual has been uh, rejected by most of the people and even uh, at the later point of time the people didn't agree to it because everything is functional what the view that he has put forth but which has been mostly adored from Malinowski is that his fieldwork method or participant observation method. Okay, so there are various books that he has written. Okay, so the fieldwork that has been during 1912 to 1915. Okay, in the Tobriand Islands. Okay, after that, then uh, he has written the book in 1922, which is Argonauts of Western Pacific. Okay, so this is not Western culture, this is Western Pacific. Argonauts of Western Pacific, right? So then Scientific Theory of Culture is the other book, Coral Gardens and Their Magic is the third. Okay, so you can remember these three books, that would be very much sufficient. But what you need to basically understand is that what is his view and how is it different from the Radcliffe Brown? His view is that culture is existing to meet the needs of an individual. Okay, now what you need to do as an anthropologist, you need to analyze the institution. Okay, how is it satisfying the needs? You have to analyze the needs, what kind of needs people have and how they are being satisfied. 
okay so whatever the institutions that are there economic institution political institution religious institution how are they present and how are they satisfying the needs okay that you need to observe as an anthropologist this is the view of malinowski and this is called as functionalist school or cultural functionalist school why are we calling it as biological uh, bioculturalism or psychological functionalism or the needs theory because his focus is on the needs right his focus is on the individual okay so when we read the needs we'll understand why it is called bioculturalism he says uh, he says or begins with the needs as uh, which are arised because of a biological nature of human being okay so that's why it's called bioculturalism which you will understand better when we go further into the theory okay so this is with respect to historical background premises and meaning of functionalism and about malinowski so in the next lecture we'll be seeing the contributions of malinowski okay that's all for today we will be meeting in the next class okay thank you